Welcome back to my lathe. What we are going to try to do today is take this piece of off cut from the olive that I've chopped into pieces and already made a couple of things from is a thing I've been seeing a lot lately on Facebook which are goblets or small vessels uh, still attached to their original piece of wood where the base is left natural and I've been wanting to try one of those and I think this small piece of olive let me see this small piece of olive would do fine it has a very straight base and actually on the, on the top it has a bit of an angle so if I'll do a small goblet the lip of the goblet will have that angle so that's also a nice feature I could I could use uh, the problems I foresee, foresee is that first of all this is a very short piece so my would be goblet let me show it to you in this orientation if this is the base obviously and I will cut I will leave a little bit of a, of a natural edge like half an inch of natural edge and then I'll cut into it and round it up and make the goblet. I don't have a lot of material left so it's going to be a quite a small goblet or I don't know we'll have to decide about the shape as we go I think I will start at the top because I want to see uh, the confines of the center that I, I will be left to work with to see if I got the, the position of the, of the screw right because if I didn't I won't have enough wood to work with to make the goblet so before I'll work hard and delicately on the base I'll clear out this piece to see that I really have the amount of wood I will need. This is also quite scary cutting this part. What happened here was that the chuck, the screw wasn't really tight. I'm scared that this is probably turned out my my hole. So let's see what we can do. Would have been a good idea to bring the the tailstock from the start. Thank you. 
Once I cut into whole wood, there's some really, really nice shavings going on here. Let me try and focus. I hope you can see this. All the color changes along the shave. Can you see it? Oh. Let me try to focus it again. And they smell fantastic. Oh. And a minster. Well, it sure has been a while. I heard through the grapevine that you took a walk down the aisle. So it's true then. Oh yeah, I remember him From grade 9 geometry His glasses had tape on the rim So now you're a housewife With a place in Lake Cascade And your husband's an architect It sounds like you've really got it made That your daughter in that picture, she's got your pretty eyes blue. She got your crescent moon smile and that curly blonde hair just like you. how scary this feels working on this piece at high speed with the spindle gouge which I would have much preferred to work in this angle which I'm used to but can't because of the base. Before I start refining the shape here at the bottom, I'm going to hollow out this part. And this is going to be a very delicate operation because it's also not sitting very well using this, the screw. And it's an odd shape, so I'm just going to have to take it very, very slowly and very, very delicately. That's alright though. I've got a dog in a bungalow I can sit on my porch and just watch the old sycamore grow Well thanks for coming Now it's time for me to go I wish you the best for another ten years down the road
traded death for some company Might have faked some life for some feeling in the flesh I was losing fame in a town they claimed Was once a swinging gateway to the west Before I apply the finish on this, I wanted to show you a little bit of the shavings that I've made and maybe it will help you understand why I like Olet so much. Well, one of the reasons, first of all, from this little cup, take a look at this little streamer that I've gone before. It's so thin, it's it's actually falling apart in my hand but just to show you the colors in the, in the let me try and focus I don't know the light situation if you are able to see the correct colors those are some nice pa paper they're even thinner than paper they're like very thin okay so let's apply the finish I stopped and leered in every mirror I swear I see my future in my fall so I bathed shaved and even prayed light and wait for new cover Forgotten love can be gotten for a song You know, sometimes you aim for something and you chuck it up and you put it on the lathe and you work on it and you put your heart and soul into it and it just doesn't come out exactly as you wanted it and, and you feel it, you feel like you've worked really hard and the end result is not quite what you expected and uh, you feel a little, a little bit of disappointment even though you know you've achieved something really beautiful but sometimes on those rare occasions where you where you make something and you have something in mind and the result that comes out is ten times more than what you've expected it to be that is just a beautiful, beautiful feeling. It was not a sense of sentiment, but the shame of having nothing of my own. You'd have thought I'd think of a thing to say, but I'd rarely been excited. I hope you had as much fun watching me work on this project. As I, as I had actually working on it, so I'm really happy with the results. This is something I would proudly, proudly display in my display case in my living room. Thank you very much for joining me for this project, and I hope to see you very soon. We fell asleep to the flickering of our silent film.